media media players, mm -hmm. all of us must be involved. Right. The electoral commission we do, but the onus is on individuals to go and check. And I also I, think it's because historically people uh, have believed that once you register, about 99.9% .9 of the your time, name will be your there. name will be there. But it's something we need to move beyond that and still encourage people to go and check. So this is where I'm going with that. If we both admit that the exercise was underwhelming, then we can say also that a chunk of the cleaning has been based on what your officers report to you, based on we have so-so and so number, and now we, had, we have more than such a number on the register. So when officers don't report that back to you, then it means that the register for that district or that polling center remains bloated. Oh, in terms of, as for bloating, I wouldn't talk about bloating. Because when you talk about bloating uh, of a voter's register, then maybe you are saying maybe some 20% of the people are not supposed to be there. But what we do is that our officers work under operational instructions. So the commission will demand that check. Because you have the details, and that's what you do for a living. Mm -hmm. and in but, this but, in, but in the district that you mentioned, it was more than 20%. You said... Uh, there were supposed to be 2,000, and then when no, the register that, that, came... That, that was... one was more about the transfer, which okay. is not so much about uh, the job of the district. The generation was done at the head office. I absolutely mm -hmm. understand. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that the difference would have to be reported by your officers. In the event, for whatever reason, your officers are not able to report back that difference to you, then that anomaly remains on the register and will be used whichever way it, it, it is intended for. Okay, let, let me put it in this perspective. For the issue we talked about, that 2,000, and it ended up being about 4,000, that one is not only the preserve of the district. Mm -hmm. That one is mainly more about the national office. But what the district, the, the district officers do is that you have the register for your district. So, and you have what we call the source documents, which is the Form 1A. And you have all those. So you have them in a pile like this. So what you do is that your job is to cross-check. And you know, at the district level, we have the district officers. There are some who work under the district officers. Beyond the district office, too, we have the regional director. And you know, when we did the registration, you gave us this particular information mm -hmm. that I registered this number. And in our registration, too, we have what we call a start of day report and end of day report. So we know the numbers you registered every day. We should give you this particular number. Mm. So the numbers that have been submitted to you from the headquarters, if there is any discrepancy, you, it is your job as a district officer to let, bring it to the attention of the commission. Which is why I'm saying <clears throat> if that job is not done, then it means the anomaly will remain on, on, Ooh, on the register without your knowledge at the head. But from, from our experience, all our district officers are very good when it comes to that. And because you are not the only one who knows what the problem there, there are, because you've already given, you know, the, our processes are so transparent that the numbers, the political parties also know. But it was also an electoral officer who engaged in that, uh, you know, illegal act in Pusiga. It was also an electoral officer. So we cannot assume that all the officers are honest and they will report back to you at the head office that so and so anomaly has gone on. You know, generally, what, this is what happens. The officers on the field, they take operational instructions from the head office, from their regional uh, directors. And certainly, you are dealing with human beings, so you are going to have one or two people who may do something differently. But the point I was making is that the parties are also aware of the numbers, total registered. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that in 2020, we gave the registers for each district to the parties. We did the same in 2023. So any party should be able to know the number registered in this particular district. So if we are doing the exhibition and the commission says that, oh, Asante Achim Central, oh, hoy, the number is now 60,000. The parties know that ah, in the last, when we did, even did the registration in 2023, we had 62. And we've done another registration. Why is the electoral commission now saying and we have all the source documents over there well, to wait, be able wait, to address Which, which is what is happening now. What you have just described mm. is what is happening now yes. between yeah. you and the other political parties led by the NDC. Yes. But you, you, you don't seem to um, accord to them the same understanding in your scenario no, right that, now. That's what, 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 what we have been saying is that 
the reality is that it is premature for you to make a request for a forensic audit. Mm -hmm.